And with that, thank you so much for Security Token Advisors. It's time to move into our top five. These are our top five headlines, the things that you cannot miss, you need to know, starting with number one. This is the INX acquisition of TokenSoft's transfer agent. Now, TokenSoft is an issuance platform in the Security Token space. They've issued our coin. They did INX's tokenization as well. And they have a transfer agent license. This is an important piece of the puzzle that essentially manages the movement of the shares when one person like Herwig sells this shares to me, then you would need a transfer agent that essentially updates that on the back end Absolutely. so that everybody's on the same page, right? INX has now acquired TokenSoft's transfer agent license, allowing them to do these services alongside their ATS or their, their trading platform where you can get that liquidity. Seems like it makes a lot of sense for INX, and it'll be very interesting to see where TokenSoft begins to pivot now that they've kind of shelled this, this piece of it over to INX. That's right. TokenSoft is a tokenization company. They have a transfer agent as part of that that they've now sold off, but it's not TokenSoft, the company itself. In fact, they have a stronger relationship than ever with INX, obviously. And as a result, INX says they're going to be offering new business lines. They're excited for a lot more primary offerings, secondary listings, and a whole lot more coming to their marketplace. So that's very, very exciting stuff. Number two, we've got Alk Capital, which you may not have heard of, but they actually own a well-known club. We're talking about the Burnley Football Club, a Premier League club. For those of you who may not have heard of that uh, name, maybe it gives you some context that they have over 600,000 Twitter followers. They're a big football club, and they have signed an LOI, a letter of intent, with INX, uh, actually to tokenize the club revenues, which is extremely exciting. They plan to have this trading 24-7 year-round, and now for the first time ever, gives people access and exposure to a Premier League football club. That's pretty cool, Kyle. I am a huge sports fan. I love the business behind sports clubs and seeing a Premier League soccer team in England getting tokenized, their revenue. They did, uh, by my calculations, potentially more than $175 million in revenue last year alone. So, you know, there's going to be some interesting revenue. This is a revenue generating company. I believe they broke even last year, even despite the pandemic and its effects on sports. So this is a healthily run business that potentially is going to be a very, very interesting asset from an investment structuring perspective, as well as the fact that you're owning a soccer team. And moving into number three, we've got Robinhood. Robinhood made headway in 2021 as they offered a lot of investment into the cryptocurrency space, specifically with Bitcoin, Ether, Dogecoin represented famously in that first quarter, like 20 or 30 percent of the, the company's trading volume for crypto. Um, and so they th drew some criticisms, though, because while they were offering investment exposure into crypto, they really weren't embracing the decentralized nature of cryptocurrency and had no wallet functionality. You couldn't remove your Bitcoin from Robinhood or, or send some into Robinhood. You had to directly engage with the platform. Right. Now they're flipping that on its head. They're launching a beta in January 2022 to their 1.6 million users who are now going to be able to test wallet functionalities, which involves sending and receiving crypto through Robinhood. This is another interesting Huge. development as more and more companies seem to be embracing the crypto infrastructure that's been pioneered for many years from the industry. It's a big, big step, as you said, going from a closed ecosystem where you just traded via the app to now actually offering custody services. Robinhood is now no longer just a broker dealer. They are full on getting into the crypto game and they're oh, yeah. focused on education and security as a part of that rollout. So super cool stuff. Number four, we've got a ripple update for you. For those of you who've been following the show, they know that Ripple has a big, big impact on the possible crypto legislation. This is one of the biggest uh, offerings, ICOs back in the day, that now could be labeled as a security and therefore could have precedent uh, on the, the results of other ICOs and such. And now it turns out that a uh, clip, a transcript of the August 21 hearing in 20, 2021 uh, was released, which actually might indicate that they are now going to be having a motion, a ruling on this court case, because why else would you release this to the public? Uh, for those of you who don't know about the Ripple case, basically the latest update from this clip is that the judge wasn't cozying really up to the SEC's defense 
regarding Ripple's argument that because the SEC wasn't aware of how Ripple was going to be treated in the first place, they can't really go back and say that Ripple was a security now that they think it is. So very interesting update, and maybe we will soon see a massive, massive ruling from this Ripple court case, which yeah. has been going on for several years now. <laughs> this has certainly been the story of the show over the past year as we've covered every step of the way, and you better believe you'll get all the updates here. Moving to number five, our final article of our top five segment, we have Dig Al. This is Dignity Gold. This is a company that owns gold mines. They've got gold reserves. They have a fund that invests in gold infrastructure, and they are now issuing a security token for the whole enchilada. You can now get direct exposure both into the gold itself as well as the manufacturing process of attaining these resources. They also have some other natural resources that they are also cultivating in their own products, I believe. So this is going to be the fifth token listing on Crypto SX. We've seen Crypto SX coming out for European and Asian investors specifically. We saw the Whiskey Fund is now listed there, First Shot Centers, and others are also listed now on Crypto SX, which is quickly rising to be a player in the security token space, specifically for the APAC region. So this is fantastic news for both DigOut as well as Crypto SX. Great work, everyone. And for the industry, that's more tokens coming to a trading venue near you. Congratulations, Crypto SX and Super cool to now get exposure to the gold asset class via a security token. So that's the top five things that you need to know. Now let's get over to John Pittman, who's going to be covering the industry news for the first time on the show. I'm looking forward to it.